Hi guys, happy Easter! Today is Easter Sunday and I decided to tell you a little bit in how the Azores Islands in Portugal celebrate Easter. In Easter time we have the tradition in putting colorful blankets out of our windows as a respect to the Lord. We have a lot of processions as well. We spend our day with family to have meals together uh, as a tradition. So some uh, flowers are tradition all year round. But two kinds of flowers are traditional uh, in Easter time. These we call hortensias. This is an Arun lily flower and this flower is a mostly common to decorate the altars of the churches where the priests are and we have a lot of uh, centerpieces. This is uh, the church of, the, of my town. As you can see is decorated with a lot of flowers. And this is my church from outside. Same church that I uh, went when I was young. We also have a lot of processions as I said it before and we also go to other people's houses we have silver crown and it has a bird kind of mm, a dove which symbolizes Holy Spirit and knowledge and we pray uh, we pray a lot during this visit to this people's house so we are blessed in Easter Sundays we have masses and the children usually start their days by having an egg hunt and uh, the masses are all over the island, all the churches in all the towns. About our food in, uh, in my island, uh, where I'm from, we have Portuguese Easter bread. It's sweet or salty kind of bread called Fular de Pascua. which consists in having at least two or three eggs inside of it. We also have meat. It's basically meat cooked in a slow cooker, clay pot, Alcatra it's the name and it's served with a wide variety of fresh vegetables as well. We have a meat or the bread soup because it consists it has a both bread and meat inside of the soup. And we have a part cooked vegetables like white cabbage, carrots, kale, potatoes, etc. So for now that is it. Uh, I'll be updating this video. I hope you enjoy it and look forward for the part 2 
of this presentation. Bye and have a good Easter.